I find it interesting that when you're young and you end up having to go to a lot of schools and start over and walk in that room, I bet you it prepared you to be an actress. I need to find a job tomorrow. That's why quite a few people who are in this profession have had similar backgrounds, you know, with having to adapt and to just fit in. I love you girls. I really do. But I can't be working here when I go back to court. Oh, yes, Your Honor, I found a new job. I'm working at the Eager Beaver. My first day when I showed up, there wasn't anybody that I knew. And there was an interesting thing about that because it created a blank slate that we were all starting at the same place. And I realized then it was important that I step up. And I earned the respect In that way, you are. You're perfectly prepared because you're constantly taking on different facets of your own personality. So it might have been painful at the time, but now you can laugh because there, it was a great payoff. And it wasn't painful because if it's all you know, it's just relative. That's, that was my life, so I didn't have the other to say, oh, this is so difficult. I only knew that. Get down to business. You're very competitive, but I have a feeling you're the most competitive with yourself. Is that right? Oh, most definitely. Always. You know how to win. I have a feeling that you really love what you're doing. Is it, is it what you thought it was going to be? It's different and more wonderful and more horrible <laughs> uh, than I imagined. This is making me very uncomfortable. But because I didn't actually have an overall expectation, it's felt more like a little discovery a little bit at a time. Are you surprised then, and looking back, that this is where you ended up today? No, because I had a blind faith, and I have no idea where it came from or why. I don't get it. I didn't even know why I thought that I should be doing it, but there was just that other thing that said, you need to go do this, and it's okay. And even though I didn't have a specific goal, I'm not one of those people who came and then, you know, did it in high school and then in college and really grasped and educated themselves. It just didn't happen that way. It was much more gut and just instinct, intuition. We're gonna win. Where does your confidence come from? You're so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> you have no fear. Yeah. Way to gut it out, Lieutenant. Were you always like this? I guess so. I, I mean, I don't know that I was ever any different, but it's certainly not because I don't have fear. It's just what I do with it that would make the difference. The strength came through because the boundaries were down. To do this, you have to step inside for all to see a depth of vulnerability that most of us don't want anybody to see, which is where you pull your strength from. And, you know, most people view vulnerability as, as, as exposing something that shows weakness. And in fact, it's the exact opposite, and I think that's why we're so attracted to it in other people. Jules. Now you have really grown into a fine-looking woman. You're famous, you're a movie star, you're successful, you have all the trappings, therefore you have a perfect life. When in reality, it's at this point in your life when it isn't so easy because your life isn't private, you give it up when you become public. What does it do to you? I mean, this, fame sounds so wonderful to have. And there are many gifts that you receive from it. I, I think that we're just existing at a certain time where the question of what's privacy and what isn't has become almost non-existent. There is no line anymore. He had pictures of you all over his apartment. So. He was a really big fan. The one thing I do know is that you can't deny that it hurts and that you feel the, the pain of the cruelty and the, the sense of invasion. And as soon as you can admit to it, 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 it leaves you. And you really kind of go back into the proper perspective, which is I do know the kind of person I am, and that's most important. You know what's interesting, I think any of us that do what we do for a living that we love, consider it a gift. Definitely. Somebody gave you a gift. 
course, I don't know if they realized that you would go after what you wanted and, and you wouldn't hurt anybody in the process. You would just stand up for what you believed in, and you did. It didn't surprise you that you did, did it? No, because that's why I'm saying that, that part of it, you have to just go in blindly, just go full force. It's what I do. Complete commitment, focus, and do it. Why be an angel when I can play God?